J. Joe Classified Series Action Soldier Infantry. So this is J. Joe Classified Series team attempt at modularity, but total failure because it's just not fun to play with. Plus the connecting points where you would place the pouches just don't um, really make sense and they fall off easily but this figure has a lot of fluff so if you're interested in using especially this and that with other action figures then this is an action figure to get or purchase okay so just on the image here wrong boots that they gave us wrong pistol that they gave us anyway so we're here to kitbash this action so Thank you. let's first do a quick 360 view of this build okay so this is going to be my version of the action soldier infantry 60th anniversary okay so that is not going to be a poncho that's going to be a camouflage cover so how i converted it i'm going to show it off later but something that um somehow drapes nicely on the figure and you could have it camouflage this way or you could take off the backpack and attach these two sections to the vets which i'm also going to show off later on okay so let's identify parts first so the helmet that comes from airborne the goggle set that is grid iron studios the helmet strap that is just a elastic cordage Weapon is going to come from Action Force Valiverse, but the weapon is already configured. So I placed another reflex sight on it, a laser, and changed the flash suppressor because the uh, flash suppressor was just way too tiny. So I placed something different on it. Okay, so this is going to be once again one of my hyper realistic design based on the actual thing, not fiction, which is presented to us by the G.I. Joe Classified series team that is fiction. So this is more a realistic take on how a kit should be actually properly modded, okay, or a weapon system, okay. So let's first take care of the ACR, AR-15. So this is going to be the configuration. So a different sight and an invisible laser and a different flash suppressor. So all taken from G.I. Joe classified series, um, those um, gummy weapons that is was issued to us okay so i just took parts from it with an exacto knife so modularity on the helmet you could use it with these goggles or you could take it out so just with one flick that way so you could attach a pair of nvgs to that port or you could just have one of these so actually very easy configuration the goggle set that came with the helmet that i purchased from grid iron studio so it's just a attachment thing and i just placed elastic cordage to it so it matches the um the peg the peg matches the hole anyway on that helmet so perfect thing that I could use so this thing just doesn't um, lie in my accessories bin it has also already has found its use okay so next thing so let's move to the back so let's take a look at the backpack so we took out the pegs because you're not going to attach anything to it anyway so why have those ugly pegs okay so more streamlined backpack 
and I just drilled two holes on this section one and two to have these accessories mountable on the backpack okay so just take out your drill and drill two holes on those two, two sections just in case you want do you don't want to have this big thing attached on the action figure okay so these are the pouches that comes with this action figure actually so i just glued two pieces together and that's that is how it looks on the back side so the radio i cut off the peg so it's just going to be the peg for that pouch this thing is going to the attach on the back this way and this thing is going to attach on the vest or the back of the vest this way so still very very modular okay so the coat or the poncho that comes with this action figure so i converted it into a camouflage cover so to cover the gear and have at least break the outline especially on the neck area so it's just going to be quite a rounded um, silhouette instead of a very human like silhouette when this figure moves um, around buildings or around um, streets okay so so that is going to somehow um, thin out the profile of a human like silhouette okay so let's take out the head unit okay so actually this thing so that's how we did it so extra cuts so i took out the pouch on this section so I just used my exacto knife and with a pair of scissors did a more um, deep cut on the sides. Okay, so instead of this thing hanging on the front which covers majority of the details on the action figure, this thing now hangs to the side, the longer strands, uh, the longer parts of this poncho. The shorter parts are going to cover the back of the vest and the front of the vest okay okay so let's first do a quick 360 turn about or view so we could take a look at the details of the vest and the battle belt okay so let's identify parts first because majority of the stuff that you see on this section comes from this action figure but this thing is not a gi issue for this action figure that comes from marvel legends what if eric killmonger which you could get at all is right now for nine dollars something okay so i bought three figures to harvest the accessories from <laughs> the battle belt the watch and the pouches okay so we already established that three mag system for the carbine tree and three mag system for the pistol we also have three magazines for the pistol on this section so somehow um equalizing the number or the round count for the pistol and the carbine combined so okay so on this section we have an admin pouch wherein you could store miscellaneous items that this guy would like to carry especially a waterproof notebook since he has a pen on this side so he could jot down notes of what he sees on a recon mission or possibly a combat mission okay so this side he could store possibly a 
candy bar a moral booster what that's what we call it moral booster because if you're stuck in the field <laughs> it really sucks if you don't have anything that's going to lighten up your day <laughs> so a candy bar chocolate good mor moral booster okay so on this section we have several pouches so magazine pouches for the pistol another miscellaneous pouch because this section actually is hollow so this um, accessory which the action figure had so we cut off the straps and glued it to the battle belt okay so he could carry additional miscellaneous stuff on this section or possibly clips for the magazine so he has pass he could possibly carry a um, four or possibly six clips on this uh, bag we have a pouch for the water bottle we have a pouch for another miscellaneous item here another big pouch which this is going to be for the other team mates so this bag and this bag so the other teammates could store items on that section anyway that is a section that is not accessible to the one who is wearing the vest <laughs> anyway he could also reach out for other items on the back of the vest of his other teammates so that is going to be a medical pouch and we have the side arm so we have two more pouches on the thigh actually i just placed this there because of this problem <laughs> take a look at how gi joe classified series would give us action figures since um, we have access uh, they gave us accessories that are mounted on the thighs so they did not paint those section very very lousy job so it's a ongoing current thing with action figures that sports a camo pattern so that is the very simple modification on the mission scary kit of this guy so with this he could store additional clips for the magazine and possibly a broken down mre so just in case he gets stuck so without a bigger bag to store other essentials so just this so he could still store other items on his person okay but with this bag you could take out those two items and still attach them to these two points and have the bag on the back of the vest of the action figure so that's very very modular okay so let's take a closer look at the vest on these sections since i did not fill up these sections there's going to be holes one and two <laughs> so very easy solution since the holster for the pistol which was before thigh mounted so what i did was just to cut off the straps and made use of the strap as a cover for those holes so this figure could actually put down his arms this way because if we're going to attach more pouches on that area it's going to somehow bulk up the action figure and it's going to be very hard to do articulation points but with this setup it is easy just to move this action figure around so that's the pou or philosophy of use or placement 
So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.